Now we get to lesson number two. The proper use of your pick and your right hand. By hitting all four strings with any easy down stroke of your pick, it sounds like this. You bend your wrist. Don't let your wrist get stiff. Do not strike the strings hard with a stiff wrist. Just bend it and be nice and easy, holding your pick tightly with your thumb and your forefinger and let the rest of the fingers rest on the head of your banjo. Now do just like I'm doing. Try this over and over again with your C chord till it becomes so easy. Now try coming back up the strings, hitting all four strings the same as you did with your downstroke. This should sound exactly like I'm doing it on my banjo right now. Now by practicing this up and down movement on all four strings over and over again, you'll soon be able to quicken this movement of your pick over the strings till it sounds like a tremolo movement, just like I'm doing for you right now on my banjo. This may take a little time for you to perfect, but believe me, it's worth all the effort you put into practicing. So again, I say, lift the needle off your record and practice number two lesson until you get it just the way I'm doing it on your record. Let's do something together so you can feel certain you're on the right track with your pick. I'll hit downstroke on my C chord four times. Then you do it right after me. Now you do the same thing on your banjo. Now let's do the same chord, the C chord, with down and up strokes four times. Now see if you can make your wrist go a little bit faster, like a tremolo effect on that same chord, slowly at first. See how I do it? Well, now you can practice this over and over until it becomes easy for you. <laughs> 